All right, this week on Random Acts of Carving, we're going to be working on a little piece of driftwood doing a uh, Santa Claus. So if you want to see how I did this, uh, stick around and I'll show you how I cut it out. Here we go. All right, the uh, first thing I'm doing here is uh, just uh, kind of outlining, outlining the, uh, just the outline of the hat and the face. Just getting an idea of the scale where everything's going. Get my lines darkened up. Not really. Too worried about any details yet. Just getting the shape, shapes where I want them, and making sure the uh, scale is going to work. Kind of got them drawn on there a little bit with pencil, real light, just to. Uh, get all the stuff in the right places <clears throat> I'm just using a uh, a burr Christmas tree burr whatever you want to call them. this is a kind of a fine tooth one this this woods uh, just about perfect for carving with a uh, rotary tool cut pretty easy but it uh, would hold a lot of detail so not sure what kind of wood it was it was just a piece of driftwood didn't recognize the smell so I was surprised when I was roughing this out how how much of this I got with this bit. Uh, really didn't use hardly any bits. Maybe three different bits on this whole carving. I don't know, there might have been a few more, but maybe five. <clears throat> A couple pretty deep cracks in the side of the wood there I just made that the sides of his face and then his hair went on the other side of that and it really uh, really liked the way it worked out just about the right size right where the uh, ball was on the end of his hat and it was a, a big knot there and, uh, so I just left it there and carved around it he did have one little knot underneath of his left eye but uh, I was gonna paint it anyway so it, didn't really didn't doesn't really show up unless it's painted. Santa Claus is just an uh, average wood spirit <clears throat> with a uh, funny red hat. And his uh, cheeks are a little rosier. So I was able to switch over to the micro motor here. I got it pretty well roughed in and then just uh, spent a little bit of time on his eyes trying to get his eyes cut in the right size.
nice when that sun goes behind the clouds I can get a lot better uh, view on the camera but I can't uh, can't block it all all day long I tried putting different things up to block it but it's uh, kind of useless whenever it's windy Finally, been uh, cooling off here in Central Florida, and it's uh, getting down into the uh, mid 70s and low 80s during the day. So that's pretty comfortable compared to the 90s and 100s. Still using pretty much that same bit just uh, been uh, smoothing everything out with it it's just a diamond grit bit on the uh, so this is the second bit that I used and this one here has that uh, flat end with a little bit of a wheel to it so it's Using it for cutting in the the hair. Just kind of doing a once over real light with it just to get all the uh, hair going in the right direction. <clears throat> Start putting in all the little, little fine hairs, I guess. Then I'll come back and add some depth to it. I uh, put in actually a, a pointy bit and uh, make some deep groove, deeper grooves in it and stuff. So. He's got hair everywhere though. You got the hairy eyebrows and the mustache and the hair going down the sides of his head. His hat got hair on it. The little ball on his hat got hair on it. That little tool is pretty nice. You can uh, 
use the end of it and sand stuff smooth and then uh, use the edge of it there and cut all the little hair lines in so it comes in handy a lot I switched to bits again. This is uh, one that I was using first, so I'm just digging in some of the uh, some of the beard a little deeper, just to give it a little bit more depth. Right now that uh, the, uh, knot under his eye looks like he got in a bar fight. This was a little bit pointier bit I put in here, I guess. Was, uh, this is about uh, five of them, I guess, to do this whole carving. And uh, just using this one here just to get in and behind stuff and clean it up. <clears throat> and uh, this is a plastic brush, just turned down on a low RPM just to knock the fuzzies off and the dirt, dirt off of the uh, rest of the piece of wood. Clean it up. It was looking pretty good and I'm just going to uh, give it a little bit of color and make it look uh, and then try to make it look really old. And get it finished up. Put that uh, pink on there with, and it, uh, he looked like he was dead. He was turning kind of a bluish color. I had to add a little bit of orange to it. The pink. A little bit of brown and a little bit of orange to it just to bring his uh, skin color out a little bit.
uh, eyeliner. Means this uh, black wash is kind of an antiquing, or uh, just yeah, just to make it look older. Um, I actually went back over that again with a little bit of a uh, little bit of white, just to uh, just make it give it that white highlights again. Having that uh, darker colors behind that though really makes it, uh, gives it a lot more depth. Okay, this, uh, this little sandal we're working on, we, we did today, he's all finished up. Um, this is actually for a friend of mine, he uh, helped me get the channel started. He's been a big supporter and uh, a lot of help with uh, little details and stuff to get the channel going. And uh, appreciate his help, and he actually brought me this piece of wood, so uh, I'm, I carved a little sand in it for him, and uh, I'm going to uh, give it to him for Christmas. And uh, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.